Okay, let's continue with our practice example. We want to write the chemical, complete, and net ionic equations for the reaction between aqueous solutions of barium nitrate and sodium carbonate. Okay, here we go. So <clears throat> the first thing we want to do is figure out what our reactants are. So we had barium nitrate, so our ions are barium and nitrate. They're both aqueous. And then the other reactant was sodium carbonate. So I have a sodium ion that's aqueous and a carbonate ion. that's aqueous. Okay, now we know our reactants, we want to figure out our products. So our barium and our sodium are going to replace each other. So the barium will bond with the carbonate. So one of our products will be barium carbonate. And we'll figure out what it is. And then the sodium will bond with the nitrate. and we'll look at our solubility rules there. Okay, so if you flip back over to your solubility rules, we wanna figure out which one is the precipitate and which one is aqueous. So if we look at nitrates, there are no exceptions. That means that sodium nitrate is aqueous. If we look at carbonate, carbonates are insoluble unless they're with alkali metals. Barium is not an alkali metal, it is an alkaline earth metal, which means this is insoluble. So barium carbonate is our solid precipitate. So here what we have is our complete, nope, I take that back. We're not, we don't have a complete ionic equation yet because of this one right here, okay? So if we take this back apart into ions because we know it's aqueous, Now we have our complete ionic equation, okay? So to figure out what our spectator ions are, we wanna look at the things that stayed the same, that didn't change. So here we have a sodium ion, here we have a sodium ion. So those are gonna be spectator ions. Here we have nitrate, here we have nitrate, again, spectator ions. <clears throat> so in our net ionic equation, that's our grand finale, net, ionic equation, we're going to have our barium ion plus our carbonate ion gives us solid barium carbonate. That is the most important part of the reaction. That is what actually happened chemically. The barium ions and the carbonate ions bonded together to make solid barium carbonate, which is the precipitate. So the net ionic equation, that is what we're looking for in the end. That is our final answer. Okay, we will be doing more of those examples in class, um, but let's finish up this video with uh, gases that are commonly produced generally. In these double replacement reactions, you could see carbon dioxide, which is CO2. You could see hydrogen cyanide, HCN, and you could see hydrogen sulfide, which is H2S. <clears throat> For example, if we have hydrogen iodide and lithium sulfide, when the lithium and the hydrogen replace each other, we get hydrogen sulfide and lithium iodide. Hydrogen sulfide is a gas, okay? We could also get a gas from uh, something that decomposes. So in our second example, HCl reacts with sodium hydrogen carbonate. So the hydrogen and the sodium replace each other and make H2CO3 and NaCl. Well, H2CO3 decomposes immediately to make water and carbon dioxide. So that's another place where we would get a gas from our double replacement reactions. They're not very common. Uh, the, the ones that make precipitates are the most common examples, and those are the ones we're gonna be focusing on practicing 
predicting the products of are the ones that make solid precipitates. Okay, so in class, uh, make sure you bring your solubility rules. You're going to need those to figure out those solid precipitates. Make sure you have your periodic table, and we will be doing lots more practice with predicting the products of double replacement reactions.